season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. So uh, we love the text at 402-403-9478. Um, Dana Camp, I always say Deanna and Rihanna, I always mess up their names. Uh, <laughs> Dana's going to be back in a couple of weeks, so people are still texting in their birthdays. Yeah. So if yeah. you want your birthday analyzed by Dana, That's analyzed exciting. by Dana. That's yeah, it's super exciting. Yes. Um, so text your first, your first name and your birthday, um, so we won't ever out you the years no. on the air. But. No, unless you want us to. No. Totally. Right. Do you get new glasses? So, uh, well, a new handful of them. See, I'm they, trying to notice things about females more. I I, I noticed there there are like sometimes that. there yeah, have been like effort. right there have been effort. like there have been like times when she'd get her hair done. I'm like, oh hey, your hair looks good. Yeah, she got it like six weeks ago. <laughs> I'm due to go back in and get it fixed. Yeah, so it's like yeah. I'm always um, hesitant because what if like <laughs> they didn't get new hair done or like. I don't know. It's okay. It it's seems okay. like you can trip up. But, but it's, it's okay. okay. Like, that's a positive. Like, you can screw up, screw up. Like, not screwing down. Like, <laughs> yeah. if you say, so when's the baby don't do? Yeah. Don't screw down. Screw up. up. Yeah. Like, because if you say, oh my gosh, your hair looks beautiful. Did you get it done? Like, oh my gosh, I have not, but thank you. Yeah. But if you say, when's mm-hmm. the baby do? And they say, you're not pregnant, that's failing that's down. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Is there it's... any other way to fail down? Oh, yeah. Oh, give me, just give me a couple minutes. <laughs> 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 give me about 20 minutes. I'll give me, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a list. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, a cheat sheet. Yeah. We'll call it as such. Uh, if, if somebody um, has a really ugly baby and you say, oh, my God, it looks just like the mom, the dad, whatever. Sometimes they know their baby's ugly. So if you say they, their baby looks like one of the two of them, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. that's a fail down. Uh, Do people the, ever yeah. know their baby's ugly? Yes. Uh, okay. I so. Well, I think so. I think you're, you still love them. Just like yeah. the, uh, those ugly dogs on the internet where the tongue sticks out. You know it's ugly AF, but right. you know you love it. But okay. it's also adorable. Yeah. Right? Can you turn up my headphones just to touch, too? Mm-hmm. Whoever had these was really Like, I don't know deaf. why my wife spends any time I'm with me. I'm on three, me. by I, the way, as a matter of fact. Oh, you're not. Just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He just turned his I'm on the, one, the ones and twos over <laughs> yeah. here. Okay. Yeah, your wife said what? Oh, I just don't know why she spends any time with me. Like, I, I know yeah. that I'm. I that's know that I'm ugly. Has, that's why she has you count bricks. I know. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arrange the silverware drawer. Uh, yeah. She actually count let bricks. me f- finish helping her. I sound like a nine-year-old. Uh-huh. She let me finish helping her stain our deck, mm. which is an absolutely terrible job. It Staining is. a deck is worth no matter what you can get it a is. bid for on Thumbtack. Pay it because it's a terrible job. They come with the sprayer. They come with the brushes. They come with all the. They have the the gear, and it's done like in two hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go out and do it, and you're covered from head to toe. You got drips running down the house. You got. She still got brown swatch brown things on, on her your forearms. Arms. And this was done a week and a half yeah. ago. Uh, Pat, do you change your own oil in your car? I yeah. Well, I, I have the same attitude. I have the same attitude no. about my oil. It's like I would way rather sit at Jiffy Lube and pay them fifty right. bucks. Because because re- really, in reality, you yeah. save. Because I've learned a lot coming over to Herd at. I've learned yeah. a lot about valuing your time you put into a project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you're going to take five hours and you're saving seven fifty, it's not worth it. For sure. For sure. Unless you're a gearhead. And yeah. you like playing with the car, it, right? right? And that that's an enjoyable but time for you. I think that's, that's not part of Nick's and my brand. Yeah. <laughs> we are I, not gearheads. I, I think I, we can take that off the table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I intentionally asked Pat because, Jill, I bet you could change your own oil I have, but I don't do it anymore. Okay. I, and that, okay. that was a long time ago. That was only because of my dad, though. Right. That See, and that's it. part of him. And it's good that you know how to do it. I do. I know how yeah. to do it. Know how to check it. Know how to. I mean, like, I wouldn't even okay. know where the oil stick is to drain it. <laughs> the dipstick or whatever. I would I'm have surprised to. You forgot I could, that word. I could yeah. try it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could. I could test the level. Like yeah. I know how. I know how to do you, that. You, would know, you oh. know where the dipstick is. I know where the dipstick is, but I don't know where underneath part the little screw thing to drain the oil. To drain I have it. no idea. And get the drain. I mean, it's just a messy deal. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do it. I remember a house I had in Lincoln. Um had a pit in the garage so because whoever had had it before and, and obviously it was a double garage and one side had a pit and then when you and had doors on both ends so it was you could drive through to the alley that's to, a legit to, gearhead like, right, right there yeah. and you could pull in but you could tell that uh because the walls were all different colors because they painted cars in there mm. or car parts and that's things cool. like that so it was a real gearheads garage mm-hmm. and so i had it covered with really heavy lumber <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to kill myself, it, right? Or what, drop in it, stagger out to get another bottle of vodka out of the fridge. <laughs> She'll break both your legs falling into the oil change. Oh. Yeah, that was a real hazard. I'm thinking, 
Yeah, that was that was uh, risky, but everybody thought it was really cool, but nobody wanted to use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? It is cool. You're like, oh, that's cool, but really not functional not at all. Functional. It's really not. We need to fill this in. <laughs> I took Bennett to get his first oil change two weeks ago. We went to Jiffy Lube or oh, wherever, yeah, yeah. and it's now, and it was like this before COVID, but you could go and you just sit in your car while they're doing it. You don't mm-hmm. have to go sit inside. Nice. But now during COVID, like everybody's doing that. Yeah. But it was, you know, he's like, Dad, I want, you know, I got to change my oil. You show me how to do it. I'm like, yeah. Meet me at McDonald's, <laughs> and we'll drive and follow to Jiffy me. Lube and follow yeah. me. This is how we do it in our family. Yeah, yeah. my dad's the same way. Yeah, um, I, I prefer to sit in my car though. At Jiffy yeah, me Lube. too. Yeah, I, I hope that's a thing that like stays after the pandemic. Me I too. really don't it should. Want to. It would yeah. be easier for them too. You would almost yeah. think. And you don't want to sit in the lobby and watch Judge Judy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, with some boring magazine yeah. and the, right. the free coffee's nice, but my car is more yeah. comfortable. And you 100%. never have a remote. You can't change the channels. Yeah, yeah. And there you sit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get so it. there are certain so think, things in life that are worth paying for. I'm, I'm, I love. <laughs> I'm with you. My brother mows our yard because just because he has a lawn company. That's his company. Oh, that's okay. his yeah, business. that's his business. So it's you know my kids grew up not mowing their yard because it's my brother would do it for twenty bucks a week. Oh. Again, back to the time thing. <laughs> it would take yeah. me five hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I did mow it because we, we had Bennett's graduation party this last Saturday. Saturday it was like six yeah. days since he had mowed, so I just needed the front yard. I kind of miss mowing. Mm-hmm. Mm. But I mean, I don't it miss is, it enough to discontinue no. the service. But, but I, novelty, I miss it mowing. <laughs> novelty of it would wear off real quick. Yeah, I'm yeah. Thinking. It is fun though. Um, I do. Yeah, same thing. I do. I do enjoy mowing, but on the other side of it, I really enjoy having it done. G- yeah. Getting home and seeing that it's done. Oh, so, so nice. Yeah. Sometimes Which, it's it, sometimes it's nice to think about nothing. You know, just like yes. walk yeah. around <laughs> and, and <laughs> not just, mowing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> mowing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got the the yard guys are coming by this week because the backyard. Okay, the mulch. The, the earth eats the mulch, right? It, it's just crazy how it just disappears. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I got to redo it. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Diff- I'm going to use mulch around the trees, but where I walk, because I run around barefoot all the time, mulch is not friendly to Oh, feet. no, it's b- big splinters, basically. Oh, geez, it's mm. awful. So I'm thinking like gra- like pea gravel. That seems like, like it's that. uncomfortable, too, though. It's the really teeny tiny. It, they're smooth. Oh. I'm thinking that. Or sand. But I don't want Jack digging. Right. <laughs> he hasn't been digging, but I don't want to, like, here's a pile of sand to play in. Oh, he'd I don't love know. it. I don't think so. But anyway, right now I have a, uh, um, a, what do I call it? I can't even think of it. It's a weed. It's a weed, and it's about, like, five feet tall that's growing in the back corner. It's, it's, like flowers? No, like the, the prickly. Oh, right. So those, and those weeds get thick around the yes! bottom. Yes. Yes. And, like like and they're spiny. They're like a spiny dandelion. What's it called? It's a, God, I know what it is. And then they'll get a flower on the top and they're, oh my God, what are they called? Dandelions? We know. No. Sunflowers? <laughs> no. It's the evil cousin of a dandelion. It's, they're, they're tall. What yeah. are they called? Oh, I don't. There are people yelling. I'm not right a herpetologist. Yes. Yeah. I, have I no don't clue. know. There, it's I, a tall. Let me Google it. Tall. Hey, uh, fact checker, can you? Google oh yeah, it? yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he Nick's looking job. at me. He goes, I wish that that jerk would hurry up and Google yeah, that. Um, As he's leaning on his know, laptop. Again, a tall weed <laughs> Sp- in Midwest, spiny, right? Midwest would have to be yeah. Midwest, spiny prickly, dandelion. Uh, oh God, what is it called? It's like a. Oh, I can almost say the word. Oh my God, it's so common. Is you it? see them all the time. I see them all the time, but there's, they don't have labels. So, yes, they do. I'm oh, not, my God. This uh, is taking way too long. I don't know if I can handle this. We may have spot, to pause just spot, for the... Spotted? I don't know. Spotted? spotted? No, I doubt. I spotted spurs. No. Violets. <laughs> ground ivy. <laughs> crabgrass. No. Crabgrass Prostrate knotweed? What? Pro- Whoa. 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 Hold on, hold on. Whoa. A Very... prostate knotweed? Pro- prostrate. P R O S T R. That's Prostrate, not what it is. Not weed. That, oh just, my God. Will you copy that? Because that's going to be the title of today's <laughs> project. <Prostrate, laughs> not, not weed. <laughs> I will send it to you right now. Oh Thank you, my buddy. God. Uh, uh-huh. Purple. Fl- no. What is it? Weed. Um, oh my God, you guys. This is going to well, Just so everybody knows, this segment took about 11 minutes, but we ended it down to two uh-huh. and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. It, uh, oh my gosh. If anybody knows what it is, you can always text us and let us know. If, yeah. I, I think we just ride with the prostate, not weed. This is going to make me, it's going to come to me anyway. I'm going to Well, okay, so what's, the so best anyway, thing to do is just to go on to something else. It is. And then, and so. It'll come back. <laughs> since, since. <laughs> la- and you're not doing, you're no help today. I, I, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. He's I'm just sitting sorry. there sipping his coffee. Uh, yeah. was taking us so long. Uh, so last time, but since we had you on last, you mm-hmm. spent some time in New York with Adam Glenn from yeah. Hollywood Raw Podcast, of actually tailing a legit paparazzi around the streets of New York for an entire day. How was that? It was, it was nuts. Um. So when you're on a meeting with Adam, he's always going like a thousand miles an hour and jumping from like like a squirrel, like a squirrel. Yeah. Um, and then also will like mute his camera and microphone and then run, uh-huh. and you don't quite know what it, what's happening. He comes back and hot. You and think he's in danger, but he's not. He's chasing somebody. He's yeah. chasing something, and it's and it's exactly like that. Um, except just you're in his world. Is like when you're on a meeting with him, you're like have like a glimpse into his world. 
So you're literally like you're like hitching a, a trailer to his like motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, yes. And there was just so many um like for example, there's three like types of people that follow celebrities. One is the paparazzi which Adam was in. The second was professional autographers that they're just hoping Lynn oh, and Do you well, see a lot of them roaming around with A lot, them? especially really? for uh we the three big celebrities we saw were Alec Baldwin, Lynn Manuel Miranda Does and Al- Travis Scott. Do, oh nice. Do all three yeah. of those guys just hang out on the same corner? Cuz you see their pictures all the time. It's like they're constantly looking for paparazzi. But, yeah, they get pissed that the paparazzi takes their pictures. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. yes. Um, so Alec Baldwin oh was going to um, his favorite restaurant. And they are, they're all kind of in the same neighborhood in Manhattan, <laughs> mm-hmm. or neighborhoods. Um, Lin-Manuel Miranda was going to a movie premiere. He has a movie coming out. And it was with donors, so that like everyone knew he was gonna walk walk in, and he t- he still takes the subway to work, which I thought was cool. oh that's kind of cool. Kinda yeah, cool yeah. yeah, um, he of course has security like lining every subway stop he gets off on. And right, yeah. of course. Um, but at, at Lynn, there was a bunch of professional uh, professional autographers that one autograph goes for like uh, anywhere between one hundred and fifty and fifteen hundred bucks, depending on what um, what they sign. So does he still sign? Wow. Do those? I bet they can sniff out autograph sellers a mile away versus like just a kid wanting an autograph. I definitely could. And I, this was my first time here, so I'm sure they can. Out. Yeah, so yeah. Do they sign? Do you, Did you okay. see them signing for those professional autograph seekers? I didn't, but if they're there, they must be. They, they must, must get do it, it once in a while. while. Yeah, yes. Um, and then the third type are crazy fans. And Adam would uh, went on multiple rants about how everyone gives him a hard time for being paparazzi, but really the only people there that could ever do something dangerous or like you don't know why they're there, and then that's why it's sketchy is the crazy fans. Yeah. Did you um, see some crazy fans? We saw crazy fans. We there was a distinct group of all three um, at every place we went. Really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, and then Adam is like kind of a name dropper. And so <laughs> when you're walking with Adam, he's doing that because he knows where everyone eats lives, works out at. <laughs> so we're walking by an Equinox. He's like, oh, that's where I um, introduced, he claimed he introduced Kanye and um, Dave Chappelle, that they were working out together. And he was like, oh, And he hey. probably did. He probably he, did. He definitely yeah. was there and like probably had a, had a conversation. It's like, with, he's no. like that movie Big Fish, where it's like yeah. the tales are so tall, but they end up being true. true. Yeah. At yes. the end. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then all, I, it, he walks 30,000 miles a day. And you mean steps, <laughs> steps. I'm yeah, like, okay, okay. no, not my <laughs> oh steps, my steps. steps. But 30, even thirty thousand steps, steps, steps is crazy, crazy. People crazy. struggle to get ten thousand, right? Yeah. And I check my phone because your phone, like, you know, gives you a little health update, and um, your phone is like, <gasps> right, yeah. like, dude, are you? Yeah. Are somebody chasing you? <laughs> so I, I was with him for six hours, and I walked to like twenty five thousand. Wow. Um, I was. Beat. Is that the most you've ever walked, like, that you've recorded on your watch in a day? Probably. Like, that's yeah. a lot. It. it was a lot. And he just pays. he knows the neighborhoods where people eat, yeah. and he just paces around, and it, when we would be walking, like, walking through places, he would be talking to me, but he would look at every single face who was eating in the restaurant, oh my God. hoping that Alec Baldwin well, would be like, sitting there. He's kind of like, like, m- driving with my dad, even in yeah. the country. Like, you're yeah. t- even if he's not hunting, having a conversation, he's scanning the ditch, he's scanning for that's, coyotes. Like, you, you're having an yeah. engaged conversation, but you know He's never Adam looking is, at you. Never. No, and that, Adam is, is listening to you, but yeah. he's scanning all the faces. That is exactly, yeah. exactly wow. what's happening. That's it's like crazy. a soldier at war. Right? Yeah. Right? Oh. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> and we met up, and like, um, he does get like tipped off, I guess. Uh, Maitland Ward is, um, she was on Boy Meets World, and okay. then it got into the adult film industry, and is now has a new book coming out. Um, so she hit Adam up, or her team reached out to Adam, and planned wow. an interview on the side of the street. So I, I met her. And That's her, cool. Yeah, and was that your husband. first person you met in the adult entertainment industry? Uh, probably. I think <laughs> in, in person. Probably. In person. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like, um, not through I a foreign most screen. Professional. <laughs> I've met some semi-professional people, if you know. Oh, semi- but, oh, semi-professional. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it. Like, like some self-employed models. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly, exactly. Um, she also, I believe it was her husband was with her, and that also confused me of like being in an adult entertainment star yeah. with a husband. Would be super awkward. I, I don't think I could do it. Like, I would be tough. What yeah. was the girl? Um, God, she was huge in the industry, and then she she left. Um, not um, prostrate, yeah. not Mia. No, <laughs> she left, but she wrote a book uh, because of how she ran her business. She she's like multi million. Oh, Jenna Jameson. Jenna Jameson. I was thinking Jesse James. No, Jenna Close. Jameson. Jenna Jameson and her husband was the fighter. Yeah, they right? ended up. They ended divorcing. up getting divorcing, but it was divorcing, but pretty it, explosive she, marriage. It, it was you can imagine. Cray, cray. Yeah, but and she gained a whole bunch of weight, and then she lost weight, and she documented everything. Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. fascinating, yeah. but she runs it like a business. I mean, it's like I mean, and she has this multi-tiered empire 
of everything from books and and everything else that's in there yeah. besides the movies. I mean, it, there's so much more um, yeah. that it's kind of interesting when yeah. you see, see one of the the women that do that that take control because a lot of the women are controlled, mm-hmm. that's right? What, exactly what I was. And saying. to see a woman mm-hmm. that's able to. It's not just a fortune made by twenty dollar tuggies in the back seat, right? Yeah, yeah. And, it's, mean, and and all the money goes to the guy that's running it, and she gets a pittance, right? <laughs> I like, think that rivals the episode. That yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the title. It's not a fortune made by twenty. We may get pinged by yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Twenty Call it that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Somebody's really overcharging for their tuggies. I'll tell you that though. <laughs> twenty bucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Somebody takes a lot of their tuggies. Uh, yeah, oh my uh, god. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah. Adam, <laughs> Adam was crazy. Adam, yeah, that Adam would be was fun. Crazy. It was it was fun to do. Like I would do it again. And like if you gave me a few months, it's kind of like going to Vegas. You know, if I lived there, I don't know if I could. You, you probably wouldn't go to the strip. Bit. You probably wouldn't go down there. Yeah, I think most people that live there don't go down. No, to the I wouldn't. Strip. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. You go to no, maybe one much. or two shows that you might want to go see, but mm-hmm. otherwise, yeah. it is. It's a circus. Yeah. Um. And then yeah. I watched Adam stand up, which I need to show you. Um, send, send the link to Pat. But awesome. It, uh, it was also just great to see stand up again. Yeah. You know, I haven't been to a stand up show. And, and your your mom was with you. My mom was with me at the stand up. At the stand up, and <laughs> we go to stand up as family. To, so which is cool. Yeah, it's it's just like a fun thing we do as a family. So like the jokes didn't really bother. Nothing about this bothered her. There was very <laughs> inappropriate jokes. Yeah. Um, and um, then we're talking. Uh, um, Adam kind of hung hung around and you know chatted with, was chatting with us at, after. And someone in the crowd goes up to. Adam and offers him drugs. Oh. Uh, gives him drugs. Oh. And Adam, uh, like, the guy w- takes them, walks away, and Adam goes, oh, I, I mean, why, why would I ever smoke this joint from some <laughs> random person who just gives it to As me? As he puts it in his pocket. And, and he, <laughs> he acted like he threw it away and then put it in his pocket. <laughs> So then That's we hilarious. were. Yeah, I we like you like to have a good impression bet- uh, in front of your mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right? That's what, yeah it yeah. still mattered to him. Exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and you shot video. Do you have you, there'll be videos I, up like in the next couple weeks, right? Um, yes. Hopefully, okay. I, I'm finishing it today. There's kind of like a one long YouTube day in the life, so we should come back on and I yeah like, yeah yeah to, when when that's ready. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the reason I so my brother got married, so I was on vacation, but I I intentionally carved out a few hours and link up with Adam <laughs> just because I hope to do it again yeah. both with Adam, but like we we have you know other entertainment talent that it would right it would be a fun role to do this you know, every two months I go someplace especially so. being oh a paparazzi God, to me yes. is fascinating it's fascinating to me because it is like hunting and the, these guys do get bad yes. raps but knowing that Adam's one of the good guys that's very respectful mm-hmm. and the guys that especially now after we all saw what Britney Spears went through oh, yeah. and how these guys now have kind of changed their game a little bit yeah and I know he I don't remember what video it was but it was two weeks ago and he had uh, I it wasn't What's it? I know he got the Elon Musk video that was everywhere. That was Adam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't think it's the one that he licensed. He li- That's how he makes his money. He shoots these videos, he gets these pictures, and then sells them to different mm-hmm. outlets and licenses them. And he licensed one the other day. Have you ever watched day. Crawler? I have, yes. Yeah. yeah you should ask him if he's ever watched Crawler. I'll ask him. Of it. Yeah. Because yeah. if he thinks that's, is that realistic? Yeah. Because I'm sure he knows some dirt balls. Oh, I'm like sure that, it's right? realistic. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. He licensed the video for an eight hour license to New York Times for five grand. Wow. And then after that eight hours, it's free. It's like, they can make some serious money. So yeah. you, you find that big buck exclusive. in the bushes and get it. It's a world record. You find that exclusive video, you can make some scratch. And yeah. it's, it's got to be so incredibly difficult. With Everybody has a phone now. And everybody had, because so everybody mm-hmm. has a camera. Because mm-hmm. it used to be the only people with the cameras were the paparazzi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you even think back to like Princess Di in her days, it was the paparazzi. And it was yeah. crazy. But not everybody had pictures of her. Right. You know, you couldn't just snap a picture. Yeah. And now there's so many pictures, it's hard to find something that nobody's seen before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he, or he's, to catch something. So when we saw Travis Scott, who's like the biggest name in hip hop right now, yeah. it, it was just him walking from the car to He's no his, longer with the Kardashian, is he? Uh, I don't. I think I they had a baby together, but yeah. I, I I don't follow. I think that they did. Bad. Yeah. Well, they for I think they for sure had a baby. I don't think they're long. No, yeah, no yeah. longer they're together. together. Is it, is yeah. it Kendall? Uh, I don't know. One yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah, Kendall, probably. I've got a Kardashian story, but I'll hold off. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> but uh, we just saw Travis Scott walk from his car into the hotel, and Adam, uh, that was Adam's comment, was like, I can't sell this. You know, this isn't that newsworthy. He wasn't wearing a mask. So, like, after we sat on it, Adam was like, do you think maybe we could do something with that? Well, because he's not in a mask. I was like, well, that's that's more newsworthy that's than just... Travis Scott walks into a hotel. Right. Um, <laughs> but his comment was the ones that really, like, pop off is Alec Baldwin sees you a bunch and then respect – I guess respects that you're respectful of him, that you're mm-hmm. not like, you know, going crazy while he's eating dinner. Um, so then Alec Baldwin gives you an exclusive interview on the street. Right. Which is cool. Yeah. yeah that is true. Yeah. That's pretty cool. When you're talking about the pictures, 
um, and the different levels of people that are trying to get the autographs mm-hmm. made me think of, I remember, of course, I go to NASCAR, thank you, but at the, when you go to events, or even the Huskers, Huskers, same way, when they mm-hmm. have the press day, media mm-hmm. day, yeah. um, same thing, same type of thing. You'd have all the drivers, all the players, and then you'd have this adult pushing five-year-olds out of the way to get an, <laughs> With to a get an autograph. With a 8x10. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that happened in both situations, and in both situations, they're just like, nah, you know, move on. Because we know you knew, what you're doing. We know what yeah. you're doing, dude. You're just trying to get that to sell it. That's yeah. all you're wanting to do. You really don't care. And the five year old's like, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it's making right? a five year old's life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just wants you to autograph this little. That's all it is. Yeah. Interesting. Thistle, by the way. Oh, Thistle. Uh, well, we oh. were overshooting on that one. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. a Thistle. It's about five feet tall. They get a purple flower. Okay. And it's okay. prickly all the way. You can't, yeah. And they're, they are like a tree. Yeah, yeah though, when they get yeah. this big, mm-hmm. yeah. like, you gotta use the shovel to dig out the road, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, and it's it's overnight. It's like eighteen hours, and it goes from baby to <laughs> like a beanstalk. So, yeah. if you're still with us, thistle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, one of my um, so whenever I appear, I try to like post this on my Instagram story. Mm-hmm. And one of my good friends, Ryan Hovland, grew up listening to your show. His mom would always listen while he would like oh like on his way to school. We were just talking about this yesterday, weren't we? In yeah. yeah, about people saying, "Oh my god, I used to." Mackenzie, one mm-hmm. of our team members. I used mm-hmm. to listen to you all the time when mom would take me to school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop it. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> so, so now Ryan <laughs> is re-listening um, after oh. I was posting. Uh, oh, yeah, thanks, posting Ryan. Stuff. Yeah, so shout out Ryan Hovland. It's shout a nice, Hovland. thank you for introducing a new audience. I appreciate that. Yes, yeah, yeah we just right? need, we need more of those listeners. I think there's a whole bunch of people in Omaha and beyond. That yeah, that just kind of, you know, we just ships passing in the night. Yeah. Right? And they're like, ah, Pat and JT. Yeah. So we'll what task you. That? You and Reagan are doing a great job getting yes. it anyway. So thank you for that. So that's uh, yes, more than we've done in the last few years. <laughs> well, we have a newsletter coming soon. Mm-hmm. Um, I wrote something you for You did? It. That's what I, I, I didn't did. want to put you on blast. I, oh, no, I did. Yeah, I did. Because right. I'm scared of uh, Reagan and Mackenzie. So <laughs> whenever I get assigned things, I make sure I get them done. And I got it done before it was supposed to be Was done. there any cut, copy, paste involved? Oh, no. It, was, oh, okay. well, it only had to be two paragraphs about oh. Father's Day. So I wrote <laughs> about just... Father's Day for two paragraphs. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So and then I sent it to my wife. She corrected my misspellings and my typos, oh. and then I sent it in and completed it. Yeah. So it's, nice. it's done and in. Okay. Because wow. um, Reagan said she was waiting on um, the a few paragraphs from Pat. I was like, was that, Oh, was that? Yeah. Was that? But was sent like yesterday? Did no, you say? Okay. It good. was like maybe late last week. Okay. Like, good. Because I got like, it done Friday. Yes. Yeah. Like <laughs> probably right when they sent you the task. And when when I heard it was going, I was like, I don't know if I. We'll, we'll see. It. We'll see if Pat gets on this. But I'm so happy you did. I did. I, I don't know when the newsletter is coming out, but could we maybe put that like. Like sign up for the newsletter in the description. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. If you okay. send me the link, I'll do whatever. I, I or whatever. Yeah, we'll we'll put it in the link. I don't quite know where the link is. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's in the description. And there's our marketing team. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's still better than we have. It is very true. Yeah. It <laughs> is very true. Now we know there's a link somewhere. <laughs> yeah. We do know there's a link. But yeah, uh, and anything you need to cool. correct from us today? Are no, we I, well, I was I would give my fact checking like a D minus. Okay. Maybe. But thank you for having me on. Yeah, Man. you bet. Yeah. See, and I still have a list. I want to talk about Ellie Kemper. I really I really want to oh, talk yeah. about Ellie Kemper because there's an Omaha connection. Ooh. And I really want to talk, Let's talk about, about that. that in tomorrow's episode. And I also want to talk the the Kardashian thing that came up. You remember their buddy from Girls Gone Wild? Oh, the guy, the dude that owned it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Joe. Yeah. I was going to say Joe, Joe. Rogan. Uh, Joe. Oh. Well, I will. Fact checker. Find, yeah. G- Girls Gone Wild. Joe what? <laughs> Joe. On a work computer? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would do it or not. <laughs> Girls wild. Gone Wild. Do you know what Girls Gone Wild is? I, uh, yeah. I'm okay, familiar good. with okay. the work. Um, <laughs> Joe. Who, what's the name? Joe. Joe. Just Joe. put Joe in it. Yeah, just up. Joe. And- we don't know it. Joe. Francis? Joe yeah, Francis. There we go. Okay. okay, okay there we go. Okay. Yeah. okay you we'll, just got we'll a C to on your fact checking today. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, you right. got right. extra credit at the very end. Save yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you save yourself. <laughs> Joe Francis. Uh, all right. So we got to talk about that stuff in Tara's episode for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. It's Pat and JT on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, and sign up for our newsletter. If the link, Nick can find it. And it's in the, the description. Uh, thanks for listening. Pat and JT Podcast. A Huda Media Production.